Welcome back, welcome back. This is why in the morning. Thank you so much for sticking with us. Asante sana if you're just joining us. Uh, my name is Ram Aguko. It is a pleasure being with you on this fine Tuesday morning. And of course, we still continue with our conversations, with our interviews of the day. And you're just in time for the next interview. Let's talk about your health. Now today, we see so many people go to the chemists or the pharmacists and uh, they get the over-the-counter drugs they 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 they, they even self-medicate do these things have an effect on your body does self-prescription have an effect on your body do over-the-counter drugs have any effect on your body what about drug abuse can it lead to uh, a drug and substance abuse. Let's talk about your health and talk about these particular issues because so many youths get involved with this. Is it right? Is it okay? Let's talk about how you can better take care of yourself moving forward. And to help us in this conversation, I'm with Karoli Muyaka, who is a pharmaceutical technician at Pharma Plus uh, a Pharmacy. Karibu sana, Karoli. Asante. You're well? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you so much for finding time to join me because um, he is also the branch manager for the Kahawa Sukari branch. And uh, one thing that I love about this guy, he was the best performed. And in, uh, his, it is his, his branch, that is Kahawa Sukari branch, was the best performed branch in the whole country company with him being named as the best branch manager overally kudos my brother kudos. <laughs> thank you thank you good work uh, uh, tell us something a bit more about about, about this uh, particular angle because our, I, I like celebrating people <laughs> <laughs> what what happened you my overall uh, best branch uh, congratulations first uh, mm. thank you so much um, at first mm. you know when you are performing good or you are about to achieve something great, mm. you don't see it coming. Yeah. It comes as a surprise. You are shocked? Yeah. At first <laughs> you are shocked because uh -huh. you don't expect it. Okay. Um, basically, what made me achieve that? Mm. Um, you know, in pharmaceutical industry, mm. it's all about planning. Yeah. It's a business. Mm -hmm. You plan. Mm -hmm. You are well organized. You're well disciplined. So they will they, achieve it. They looked at, at all of these things. So first of all, uh, you can let's talk about some little some little uh, things like uh, stocking. Uh -huh. How do you stock your uh -huh. branch? Uh -huh. If your branch is well stocked, uh -huh. your products are moving. How much profit do you make? Uh -huh. How disciplined are your staff? members and mm. your colleagues inside there and you are the, the one that instills all of these things yeah because once you you, you get a mess from a single member mm -hmm. of that particular branch mm -hmm. you know you are failing the whole branch wow congratulations so the brother. performance has to start from mm. down going up going up bottom up it's bottom up <laughs> <laughs> congratulations <laughs> congratulations you. and yeah. I, and as, as we do that, I, I want to welcome you from home. Uh, be part of this conversation. It's all about youth and health. Let's talk about your health, matters concerning you. Ask your questions. He is an expert in this particular area. We shall be able to discuss and dispense of these issues. You mentioned, yeah. Caroli, yeah, that um, at the end of the day, pharmacy, pharmacy, I can get that aspect of business coming in. Yeah. You mentioned stocks, yeah. uh, etc. Yeah. Um, when it comes to pharmacists, and I know this is going to be a biased question, <laughs> but what are your thoughts in regards to these accusations that sometimes pharmacists just sell drugs to make money and they don't actually give you what you need for your body and it may end up harming you? Okay, we need to differentiate one thing. Uh -huh. You know, we are not businessmen at that extent. Yes. Or uh, let me frame it as uh, shopkeepers. 
Yeah, you're not shopkeepers. Yeah, shop we are not shop Yes. We are doctors. Trained. We are trained doctors. Mm. So by, by you coming to us, we have to make sure we administer the right uh, product to you. And at the end of the day, you are going home feeling relieved. Mm. You know, before you come or you walk into any chemist, the first thing you, that rings in your mind is, mm. there's a doctor inside there. Yes. So you trust this person. Mm. And whatever this person is going to do will make an impact on you. Mm. So it's not, it's not all about just making money, although money will come. Mm. Because, of course, I'll give you the medications you'll have to pay me. I can't give you medications for free. Mm. You'll have to pay me. Now that's how business comes in. And, 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 and is that, before even as I continue, is yeah. that what we call an over-the-counter drug? We have the over on uh, the the over the counter drugs, mm -hmm. and we have uh, the prescription drugs. Mm -hmm. In a chemist, generally, the pharmacy and poisons board allows us to stock the over the uh, an over the counter drug or medication, and the prescription medications. We have uh, two types of prescription medications. We have the long term drugs. Mm. Those are basically for people with a, the diagnosis with a high blood pressure and diabetes. Mm. Is that like a duration mm. here? Of course. And uh, mm. you know, they are given uh, medications depending on the stages of their, 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 their diagnosis or their, okay, the, okay. The, the, the conditions. Mm -hmm. So you need a prescription for that. You can't just come into a chemist. I test you for uh, blood sugar, mm. and I tell you now, today, I'm going to give you some metformin, 500 milligrams. No, I can't do that. That's some what? I can't just... No, that, that <laughs> word you mentioned. I want you to mention it. I can't the metformin. Metro? Metformin. Metobil. That's metformin. A drug. That's okay. a drug. Okay. 500 milligrams. I can't mm. do that. Uh, you need a prescription. Mm. And that's why in a medical field, I do enjoy being in a medical field because... Mm. There's something we call uh, respect of, of, uh, of positions. Mm. I'm a pharmacist. Mm. I respect the clinical officer. Mm. I respect the medical officer. Mm. That's their job. So you will give this drug yeah. in accordance to the diagnosis? Of course. Now, do we have still, because we have not yet gotten to the, to the answer yeah. where you, you respond to, do we have scenarios where pharmacists just sell drugs to make money? And I could put, you go to hospital every time you go to hospital. And I don't know if someone has been through this. Every time you go for a checkup, unambiwa yeah. tuni malaria, malaria, malaria. Unapatu madawaza malaria, madawaza bacterial infection. And you're wondering, what the, what's the problem? Okay. Um, on that... Uh. <laughs> they are, they are. <laughs> is, is that true? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, yeah. I, I'll, I'll try to elaborate mm -hmm. a little bit, but mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. it depends. Because mm -hmm. uh, they are, we are human beings yeah. at first. Yeah. I'll begin by saying we are human beings. And you know, a human being, everyone has a weakness. Mm -hmm. I might be a doctor, yes. Yes. But uh, where I'm situated or where I'm working, I need to make a particular thing from it. Mm -hmm. So, so what do you expect me to do? It's not that I love to administer wrong medication for you mm. so that uh, I make that cash. I'll give you the right thing to earn that cash. Although there are some who do that wrongly, and we do condemn that every day. Mm. We do condemn that every day. That is it's wrongly and yeah, it's condemned. It's condemned. Mm -hmm. And in fact, if the Pharmacy and Poisons Board realizes that you are doing such a thing, mm -hmm. your premise will just be cleared off. All right. Because it's risky. Mm -hmm. um, I can remind you of a, a case that was once around Nairobi here, mm -hmm. where... A baby was injected some anesthesia. Yes, I remember that issue. You know, mm. 
the essence of doing something is not all about uh, I want to achieve uh, maybe I'm, I'm targeting a hundred thousand per day I have to make this hundred thousand per day so I just give out anything now you see this is a pharmacist who is in a, in a pharmacy mm. he has received a particular prescription he gives out the medication but lacks something he's not keen on something you don't want to ask how old is this particular person or the patient mm, mm. you don't have to do further investigation yeah you don't want to do further investigation that's laziness mm. and you see in a medical field I'm, uh, by the way a doctor is like a, a police officer you are at war because you are fighting uh, diseases mm. you are at war you go there uh, there are bullets flying around mm. <laughs> Disease, <laughs> the viruses, yeah, viruses bacteria. are flying around, <laughs> bacteria are flying around, uh. and then you are given someone to guard or to protect. We are going to save someone, and you forget one single step. You know that the life of this particular person relies on your hands. It remains the blood of this particular person remains in your hands for the rest of your life. Now, now, my brother, let me let, now let me ask you because uh, you've you've clearly stated that um, there are people who are professionals, yeah, and 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 you are professionals, uh, but there are those who, if found to be uh, engaging in this, I would call it malpractice, yeah, yeah, yeah. then. There are consequences for that. Should Kenyans uh, 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 trust the pharmacies that is at their next door? How can a common mananchi know that this is a good chemist, this is a good pharmacist? Um, do we have those, those traits that you can pick out and say, you know what, even if I'm going to buy the over-the-counter drugs, I can trust that my life is in good hands. Yeah, you can. How can you, you do can. It's how, very how, easy. how can you differentiate? How can I know that Karoli is a good guy? By the way, it's very easy to, to know to, or to, 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 to figure out someone who is just trying to make money mm. out of your situation and someone who is trying to help you. Because huh. you know pharmacy is not all about come, I give you drugs, go, give me money. No. Mm. At first, uh, we are trained well, we are taught well, we know about guiding and counseling. Mm -hmm. Before I give you any medication, I need a history of your sickness. Yeah. So we need to flow. There's a, there's a, there's a, there are steps. You give me a history, you give me some signs, mm -hmm. you know, I'll, I'll, I understand the signs. After you explain everything, you get me a history. I've been moving from this place to this so, place. So, 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 so someone who asks yeah. questions yeah, 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 is yeah. someone you can trust. That's someone you can trust because but, this person mm. is looking for something mm. inner mm. before administering anything. But you know, Kunawale and Bona Kuliza, Jinalako Nini, Unaskia Vipi, Sawa, and Apalo Squadawa. And you're wondering, and then, is that it? And then, you know, uh mostly there there are some conditions that I can't I can't just give you drugs so. huh. I'll first of all ask you, man. You need an anti malarial drug, yeah. Have you been of late have you been in any area prone to malaria infection? Uh. Yeah, the only that yeah. Uli Safiri. Uli Safiri ama <laughs> ulikuwa tu karibu karibu hapa. Ah siku safiri, siku safiri. Siku na so. pahali na kidi bado na anti malaria. I won't give you that. Ah. Why should I give you the anti malarials yet we've not yet confirmed whether you have malaria? Hmm. Because if I give you the anti malarials and then a week later you are diagnosed with malaria. Hmm. For sure my friend I want to assure you hmm. the anti malarials will resist. It will resist. Of course. Now, there are, there are many who go to hospital, still, on this issue of over-the-counter drugs. Yeah. Uh, but every time you go to, this, to, to the clinic, they tell you, uh, H. pylori, H. pylori, H. pylori. <laughs> 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 H. pylori. <laughs> uh, 
That's Tell me about this. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very common case. And, uh, so it's very it's, common. It's very common. And uh, something that you people should understand and uh. should know that uh, H. pylori is a normal flora. It's a mm. normal bacteria. It's in your system. It's in everybody's it's system. It's in everybody's system. It's a normal flora. So I should not be afraid of any kind and, of H. pylori. Uh, <laughs> the, the, do you know how uh, or when uh -huh. uh, bacteria is now confirmed to be abnormal? Uh, when? You know, in every human being, uh -huh. we have these live bacteria. The bacteria that will help us in digestion. They will help us in uh, f uh, at least fighting some normal stuff. And... Uh, when uh, then the, the, the amount of the bacteria uh, ah, mm. the amount of the bacteria mm. <coughs> in your system try to 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 to, to overreact like let's say now the h pylori let's basically talk about the h pylori uh, mm. the h pylori virus or the bacteria not virus mm. the h pylori bacteria mm. Mm. Uh, it helps in a few things. Mm -hmm. It's basically in your stomach, the 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 the, the, the GI. What do you mean? G GI? The gastric. G okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's basically there. Mm. The only uh, the only uh, position when the, this bacteria is now identified as an abnormal is when. It's now reacts in excess mm. because mm. there are a particular amount of bacteria that are normal. When they exceed that number, mm. they now become abnormal. They have to be suppressed. Mm. And by suppressing these bacteria, mm -hmm. you will be given antibiotics. They clear. Antibiotics will act in different okay. ways. Okay. There are some that kill the bacteria. Mm -hmm. There are some that just uh, create an environment that is not suitable for these bacteria, and the bacteria will <laughs> will simply be released. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I see. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. when you are given an, an antibiotic like the bactericidal antibiotic, it kills the bacteria. Your body now lacks the normal flora, isn't it? Mm. Because you've killed all the bacteria, the abnormal bacteria and the normal bacteria. So someone will be asked to take a probiotic. What's a probiotic? Huh. You're again returning the bacteria into your to system. Your system. <laughs> <laughs> because you need uh, them. Th this is confusing. But mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm glad you're a professional. Because we needed to understand these things. And as a mm -hmm. pharmacist, you've, you've, you've clarified some of these uh, gray areas. Yeah. Um, but, but how can, um, in, in, in your ex expert opinion, yeah. um, how can pharmacists bridge this gap so that we don't have this uh, space between youths who uh, do not want to go to pharmacies, they want to go to the hospital, or youths who don't want to go to the hospital, they just want to go to the <laughs> pharmacies <laughs> and, 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 and get the over-the-counter drugs. Is there a role that pharmacists can play to help youths understand more about their health? Yeah. There's a very big role. Mm -hmm. uh, at first, uh, we need uh, education. We need to educate youth, mm -hmm. talk them through their, their, their advantages of, being, of visiting a hospital, being tested in a hospital before mm -hmm. going back to administering drugs for themselves mm -hmm. over the counter or by going in a chemist and just requesting for anything. Mm -hmm. Or, just, or, or, or by just buying something yeah. and then you keep it in the house. And then you keep it in the house that uh Leo Nipesetri in the Miambili, Homa Kikuja, at least in Mejipang. You know, we can teach or we can give them an education or uh, we can figure out on a way to at least guide them through the steps of having to acquire these particular medications and what time. Mm. There are some conditions that uh, a person is a chemist, and you are like, okay, this. <laughs> do, do you have those ones that you can just see? 
Yeah, there are some that you can just see and you are like, okay. So if 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 someone comes to your chemist and uh, you've easily pinpointed what their problem is, mm -hmm. they should not feel like, oh, this person is not doing investigations. How did you know? They should not feel. No, you have to engage them, the client first. You have to engage the patient. You have to engage, engage yeah. the patient. Make them understand. You have to make them understand mm -hmm. that this is what you have seen mm -hmm. and this is what they are feeling. And make them understand why they need to, to, to go for a checkup yeah, 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 here yeah, instead yeah. of just buying over instead the counter. Instead of just buying the drugs over the counter. You have to engage them. You have to go through everything. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like, a, you know, I do say, as doctors, we do have a very big family. Mm -hmm. Because you do meet so many people. You are open to so many people. And so many people are open to you. And for a person to be open to you as a doctor, that means they trust you. You are a family. Because you can't be open to someone you just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a big family. It's a big, it's a family. big family. And as a, as a member of that family, you can't just allow the family to get into... Uh, you can't kill your family member, mm -hmm. for instance. Now... Do, does, does careless purchase of over-the-counter drugs have a negative effect on someone's body? Yeah. Very big effect. Very big effect. Yeah. Uh, I'll give an example of a, a drug that is very commonly purchased, yeah. especially in this city. Yeah. <coughs> the P2s. Hey. Say it again. The P2s. <laughs> huh? It's called you know, uh, it's called the Postina. <laughs> Postina 2. Postina 2. Man, uh, these ladies are abusing these things. Ah. They're abusing that thing. It, it, it can affect them. They're abusing that thing. And you know, Postina is a hormone. Progestin is a hormone. In the body? It's a hormone in a female body. Ah. The estrogen and the progestin hormones are sex hormones. Mm -hmm. You will find a lady complaining that I have hormonal imbalance. Why? Because he, 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 he chose a, a family planning method that is progestin only. Mm -hmm. Or there is an increase of the progestin hormones in the system. Bang, this, this drug is bad. This lady mm -hmm. can't contract any pregnancy. Are you saying immediately or she won't in the future? If you over, overuse that drug, you'll have to pray <laughs> for a very long time. <laughs> you'll have to pray for a very long time. Uh, okay, okay. Of course. Um, how frequent should, should, should uh, a lady use uh, the P2s? Uh, Is there a limit? There's a limit. Because you've said overusing. There's a limit. Mm. Basically... I can't advise a, uh, a patient or uh, any lady or any man buying a P2 mm. to give you a, your, your, your girl a P2 more than twice a month. That's mm. bad. Mm. That's bad. We have condoms. Why not just use a condom? Avoid this, swallowing these yeah. drugs. Why not just use a condom? If you need an oral stuff, you need to enjoy it orally. You know, you need uh, to feel the, the, the tangible stuff. You know, the, the, but, the, but the, contraceptives the, are, are are important. Contraceptives are important, and that's why mm. you know. You know, most contraceptives are long term. You have the depot that is injectable. It's a long term, three months. It's controlled, you know. The release of the hormone is controlled. We have uh, these implants. They are long-term. The release of the hormone is controlled. But you can imagine taking a, a, a P2. Taking P2 is like taking how many tablets of Femiplan? What? There's around eight tablets of Femiplan. Taking one tablet of P2 is equivalent to taking eight tablets of Femiplan. You can imagine that strength. 
And that's why so many uh, ladies, after taking the P2, you will experience a very heavy flow. A very heavy flow. Because your body is, the, the hormones are so high and they'll completely resist any, anything mm. that tries to, 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 to attach itself to the walls of the wombs. Uh, the walls of the womb is expelled. So um, I, I love the example you're giving. You're saying just careless purchase of over-the-counter drugs can be negative. Yeah. It can have a very adverse effects on the body. Yeah. And and you've, you've given an example of the, the, the P2 that uh, you say ladies abuse nowadays. Yeah. It can cause hormonal imbalances and giving birth may be a problem. Mm -hmm. You said, Aretaji Maombi. Aretaji Maombi. All right. Uh, <laughs> I want us to bring this conversation to a close because uh, mm. there are so many things that uh, uh, that I want to, to know. But because of time, um, I want you to talk about this. Um, what about the issue of, uh, of 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 some of these uh, sexually transmitted in infections and uh, and HIV? Because um, once someone feels like they they want to purchase this over-the-counter drug, is there a way that uh, you know even those who are having sexually transmitted infections and uh, uh, HIVs are also covered in this conversation of uh, purchase of over-the-counter drugs? Briefly, yeah. Um, basically, when someone uh, I had given an example of uh, using a condom, yeah. I buy a condom. I go at home, do my thing. The condom bursts in between the game. So tomorrow morning, I'll run into a chemist and ask, hey, kuna pep? Of course, if it's there, you'll get it. I'll test you, yes, I'll give you the pep. But how many times are you going to take this pep? That one doesn't need a prescription. For those who don't understand what, what a PEP yeah. is, what is it? What is it? A PEP, uh, that's a post-exposure prophylaxis. Okay. It's a medication given after you're me, exposed I, to Believe me, I, I never <laughs> knew what PEP is. <laughs> it's a medication given after you're, uh, you're, you're, okay. you're suspecting of being exposed to a virus, the HIV ah, virus. HIV. So you All take right. it for around 28 days, a single tablet per day. Uh -huh. A combination of three drugs, you take uh -huh. it for all right, all 28 right. Uh, days. Yes. You can take that, like, let's say you take that for the first time, you take it for the second time, you take it for the third time. Yeah. At long last, mm -hmm. any other time you'll be testing for HIV, you may not get the results. Because Maybe you, you have the virus. Because, because you're you always suppressing the, the virus. So the, man, the, the multiplication of this virus... Uh -huh might not be visible. You have to undergo some other serious tests all for right, you to, to, right. to identify that. No, yeah. I have some viruses. In me. So we should be careful. We I, should be careful. I, I, I want you to have a final word, just within, within 30 seconds. Talk to the youths watching you today. What is your parting shot? Okay, for all the youth in general, uh, I urge you, you know, health in youth is a very great thing. Um, let's consider our, our health as the biggest goal to achieve. The biggest success to achieve is the health in youth. Live alone, uh, having a lot of cash, having a big job and all that. You can have a lot of cash, but your health is, is at risk. All right. We consider having a better health. Mm. One, let's eat smart. Let's exercise. Let's follow the, 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 uh, the guidances that we are given on, in terms of uh, administration of medication, um, how we are going to utilize our pharmacies and chemists right. so that we don't risk mm -hmm. our, our health or right. uh, our bodies uh, to that extent. Right. Thank you so much, Caroli. I, I appreciate it. There are so many things that uh, I know we might, uh, we, we, we might have wanted to talk about, but thank you so much for uh, sharing your, your, your thoughts on this. And I believe that as youth, we are saying we should be careful. Do not just carelessly buy over-the-counter drugs. Senior Karoli. Yeah, yes. we should. Thank you for coming.
Thank you so much. All right. Uh, and that brings us to the end of this conversation. Uh, that is Karoli Muyaka uh, taking us through this particular uh, uh, aspect of uh, the effects of uh, over-the-counter drugs uh, matters concerning your health right here on Wine the Morning. We're taking a short break. We'll be back with more coming up your way. Keep it Wine the Morning.